Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. I'm here with Ben, and uh, today we're doing something really interesting on the Mustang. We have come up with uh, a different way to control the gear uh, because we wanted to actually use signal wires that weren't carrying much current through all of the gear switches and then come back and use a power relay, uh, which is this unit right here I'm going to show you. Um, it's made by, uh, uh, it's actually UNO, O-O-N-O, and it's a forward and reversible relay power unit. And um, other people have done this on their Titan Mustangs as well. Uh, so it's not something they haven't used this particular unit, but they've used uh, things that uh, really isolate the high current used to power the hydraulic pump into the, the back right where it's actually, uh, where the pump is located and avoid having lots of current running through wires through the entire aircraft. And so we decided this is something that we wanted to do on our build. So we came up with a new circuit. And one of the cool things is when you come up with something like this, uh, you have this opportunity to model it and try it before you go and wire everything in there. And that job I gave to Ben here. And so um, he's using a breadboard and uh, we're modeling all this with LEDs. And so I'm gonna uh, put this down here so that um, we can uh, uh, see both sides of it and then have, um, uh, have Ben take you through it. Let me just hook this up really quick and then we'll zoom in and show you what it is and Ben will explain the whole thing. Okay, so uh, here's my attempt at explaining uh, what I just did today. Over here we have um, the relay this is showing this red, uh, solid red, showing we have power. Um, and then we have an indicator of whether the motor is running the gear down or running the gear up. Red is running the gear down. Green is running the gear up. So, and we have over here LEDs showing um, the position and if it's in transit. So um, if I want to put the gear selector to the gear down, it's in transit, that's the, the yellow right here, and we know it's going down because the relay is showing the red light right here. Um, once it hits full down, it's gonna turn green. Green means gear down, we're ready to land, and the um, indicator for uh, the motor actually running on the relay is off. Okay, so if we wanna put the gear up, we have the we put our gear selector on the up position. It's in transit. We have the yellow here. We know the motor's actually running up. And then once we hit the stop, we're up, no lights, the motor isn't running. And let's say now we put our power back. So we are trying to land and we have our power back and our gear up, right? We don't want to do that. Now you get that blaring horn telling us that uh, we need to lower the gear and go around to try this again. Okay, so we just showed um, what is going on in our small scale system. When the, we use the breadboard because we want to notice any errors in our wiring and if we did something and a part's not working and we have a bad connection or an issue with that, we don't want to put it in the plane and then realize yeah, we, we, we made an error, we put a part in, it doesn't work. Um, so that's why we start small here, and it was really good for me to learn um, how this all works in an intro to uh, you know electrical engineering, and something I don't have a big background in. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this really helped, and it gives us a good uh, uh, overview of the next step in our process at the T51 build. All right, so thanks to Ben for doing that cool little breadboard experiment that proved out our new schematic and showed us how we're gonna be able to use this power relay to control the forward and reverse on the gear and showed how the lights are gonna work, how the disconnects work, how the throttle switch works. Uh, very, very cool to prove that out on the kitchen table before we go in here and start uh, wiring it all up, which is our next step 
uh, to getting all things uh, wrapped up. Our stage here on the building is that we need to get all the electrical done, all the hydraulic done inside. And then we can close out the skins, finish all of that up and get this thing out of our living and dining room here and uh, get to the work on our center section and our wings. So until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. In addition to that, we just released our FA a uh, education system. It is so cool. You can get credits for wings, for AMT classes, and if you're an uh, AMP with an IA certification, you can get your IA renewal education, your continuing education for IA renewal through our FA learning system. And so be sure to check it out. It is all free, all here, and from the comfort of your own home. Until next time, I wish you all blue skies. Thank you.